Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. My name is Tony Smith, the Vice President of the Mike Ferry Organization, and I'm thrilled to spend a few minutes today with you here on Mike Ferry TV. Well, congratulations. It's the week of April 4th. A brand new quarter is sitting right in front of us. You know, we get a chance to start over daily if we want, weekly if we want, quarterly if we want, of course yearly. You have to look at your approach to the second quarter of this incredible real estate time in our lives. I know that many of us are going to look back and see this window of time of 20, 21, 22, 23 as one of the most interesting, but also as one of the most opportunistic times that we've ever had in real estate. And I want to follow through on this a little bit with you today on some thoughts that you might want to consider for yourself as we come into a brand new quarter. Guess what? The first quarter is in the rearview mirror. What can we do about that now? Not much, right? Whether it was the best quarter you ever had or whether it was a, a horrible quarter or it was somewhere in between, it is in the rearview mirror. So as we approach and as we're into the second quarter, I want to give you these thoughts from Mike that might make some sense to you about maximizing your opportunity and the experience you're having in real estate sales for the next 90 days. Let's look at this. I wrote down this question, okay? What do you do for the first hour when you get into the office each day? Honestly, if you take a close look at your performance and what you do and how you run your life and business, that first hour that you get into the office, what do you do? Is it designed to propel you into more productivity and more profit? Is it designed for you to take a lot of action and move forward with strong activities? Or do you have a casual start to the business? How would you grade yourself on coming into the office and firing out of the gate each and every day you go to work? Most of the industry has this huge variance of time when they come to the office. Well, I get to the office somewhere between eight and noon, right? What time do you get to the office? Does that have a lot of impact on how your quarter turns out? We believe it does, right? If you think about the Mike Ferry sales system, one of the fundamental components that he works from is called the 180 degree rule, right? We study what the real estate masses are doing, what the groups of real estate agents are doing, and then we do the opposite, right? If most real estate agents don't have a first powerful productive hour when they get into the office, we recommend you do. What do you do in that first hour? Do you get your mindset right? Do you prepare for some lead generation? Do you um, get some affirmations done? Do you practice your scripts and dialogues? Do you uh, hone your skills? Or do you come in like the rest of the world does and have a couple cups of coffee and start hanging out with some of the other agents as they trickle into the office first thing in the morning? How does that first hour work out? If you want a better second quarter, you should consider that, okay? What do you do and how do you respond when you receive your first no of the day, N-O? If you are generating business on a regular basis, you're going to get told no. How do you respond to that first no? Do you start to retract and retreat and start to give in already? Or do you see that as a sign to move forward as something that, you know, every no I get moves me closer to a yes? How do you behave? How do you respond in the face of that first rejection you receive every day? If you want a strong second quarter, you've got to respond better. I put this note down. You have to eliminate the option called failure. Mike Ferry has said this for years. He says, hey, if you're a full-time real estate agent, you've got 40, 45, 50 hours of work each week. You've got 50 hours in front of you. You mean to tell me with 50 hours of work, even in today's times, you can't find a listing? Well, how good did you do in the first quarter at finding a listing each week or twice a week or three times a week? Something to consider. I wrote this point number three down. Always be honest with yourself where your skills are so you can develop the mental strength to win daily. Where are your skills going into the second quarter? How strong is your listing presentation? Do you know how to handle the objections you're going to receive in the second quarter? Have you figured out the right approach to generating and how to generate listing appointments? How strong is your showing appointments? How strong are you at the skill sets that are needed for the second quarter? Should you lay out a little plan for yourself to improve in your skills in the second quarter of this year? We think so. I wrote this. Strong minds know how to set and achieve goals. Point number four, strong minds know how to set and achieve goals. Have you set out a dynamic set of goals for yourself for the second quarter of this year? 
Have you decided what you're going to, how many listings are you going to take between now and July 1st? Right? How many sales are you going to make between now and July 1st? How much income are you going to create and receive between now and July 1st? Great strong minds know how to set and achieve goals. Have you taken time to do that? I think it's time to decide what you're going to do in the next 90 days in terms of goals. I wrote this down as point number five. Strong minds do not take the path of least resistance. Strong minds do not take the path of least resistance. What is the path of least resistance today? Massively working with buyers. The natural path of least resistance is working with buyers. We all know that today if you get a listing, you're getting paid. And then we also know that even some of the best agents in the world that normally list property have started to slide towards the buyer side and they find themselves working with more and more buyers because they're taking the path of least resistance. In the second quarter, the resistance is figuring out for yourself how to take a listing. But when you take a listing, the resistance is almost gone because the listing sells and you get paid. So where are you taking the path of least resistance? It's a strong question to ask yourself as we move into the second quarter. Number six on this list, strong minds talk to people they know and people they don't know every day. How would you critique and grade your performance on the first quarter of 2022 in terms of talking to people you know and talking to people you don't know? One thing that you've heard over and over from us in this world, if you want to list more property, talk to more people. What is your breakdown? What is your idea of talking to the right amount of people? Does it mean that you have to like it? No. If the world says that you have to talk to 30 people a day for you to take a listing every week, but if you take a listing every week, you get paid, right? What hangups do we have about talking to 30 people every day so that you get paid? Strong minds understand that talking to people they know and don't know is part of the game. What is your approach to that for the second quarter? Interesting, isn't it? Okay. I wrote this down. Number seven, strong minds fight to take aggressive action every day. Strong minds fight to take aggressive action. What is your grade in the first quarter about taking aggressive action each and every day in your business? How aggressive have you been? Have your prospecting efforts been aggressive? Have your lead follow-up efforts been aggressive? Have your skills improvement efforts been aggressive? What, where do you need to improve your ability to be more aggressive as you go into the second quarter? Pretty easy to find. I'd write it down. Okay. I wrote this down. Strong minds have an unwavering desire to achieve the goals they've set in spite the ups and downs of this crazy business. Okay. Strong minds have an unwavering desire to achieve the goals they've set. How strong is your a desire to achieve the goals you set when you set them way back to start this year? Are you still working from that business plan? Do you still have a real solid set of goals that you would like to achieve for income and sales and transactions done? Do you have an unwavering desire or have you found that desire wavering a lot? It's time to recommit for the second quarter. What do you need to do personally to get that desire back where it's really right there so you can produce at a high level for another 90 days? I wrote this down, number nine. Strong minds work daily to remove the drama from a drama-filled business. As you look back on the first quarter of 2022, how much drama was involved in it? Was there a lot of drama in your business? Did you find a way to remove the drama from the day-to-day -day activities in real estate? You know, the market's going straight up, the market's going straight down. You know, there's, I have a sale, no, I don't have a sale. I thought I had a listing lead, now I don't have a listing lead. The buyer said they're gonna back out at the last minute. There's a million places that this is drama filled. Are you working hard to remove the drama? The best way I know to remove drama is to have strong sales skills and follow a strong schedule. If you follow those two things, it's hard to be full of drama, okay? How about this thought? Uh, we want to look at this number 10. Strong minds understand that our business and personal environments are critical to positivity. As we go into a second quarter, is it time to clean up the desk? Is it time to clean out the office? Is it time to clean up your car and the home? Where do your office and personal environments, do they support you going on listing appointments every single day? How's that prospecting station? Do you have a real strong, clean station to uh, prospect and generate your leads? How's your desk? Is it buried in files and paperwork? Sometimes it gets out of control. 
now would be a good time to clean up your personal and office environment to go for another uh, big mega, mega run for the next 90 days. How does it look? Okay. Number 11, strong minds work constantly at expanding the positive influence they let in, the books they read, the audios they listen to, the videos they watch, the people they talk to. How'd you do in the first quarter in letting drama and negativity into your world? There's plenty of it to find, isn't there? Man, all you have to do is turn on the TV or the radio or the news or go to your computer and you can find the negativity. Are you being very diligent in your efforts to put in the positivity? Have you fallen into the trap of letting a few of those negative things start to trickle back? You know, go to, go to the news channel every morning or go to the internet and turn on the, the feeds that just pump the negativity. Has some of that slipped into your life? How well did you do at reading every single day, writing your affirmations every day, watching and listening to positive things each and every day? It's required if you want to have a strong quarter. Do you need to recommit to some of those things? 13 or 12 on this list. Strong minds understand the value of educating themselves. Strong minds understand the value of educating themselves in the first quarter. What did you learn about the sales business? What steps did you take to improve your knowledge of direct sales? We're in a sales industry. The Mike Ferry sales system teaches everything you need to know to sell real estate in the industry we've chosen. Time management, skill management, listing presentation, prospecting, generating leads, and all the way through the list. Did you educate yourself a lot in the first quarter? What do you plan on doing to educate yourself at a high level in the second quarter? You know, as I wrap up this call, I can't, there's this thought that just popped into my mind. I had a high school football coach, and one of the things that he used to say to me repeatedly that has stuck with me for, gosh, what, 30 years now, uh, more than that even, is he said, listen, if you don't know what to do, learn. If you do know what to do, execute. I must have heard it a hundred times in my athletic career. So what about the real estate? Do you not know what to do? Do you know how to find listings today? You have to learn. Do you know how to handle the objections today? You have to learn. If you do know what to do, execute. What do you need to execute on in the second quarter so you can get fully full steam ahead with your goals, your income, and your sales? Let's take a little time. Let's not let this second quarter slip away. Take a little time and design what you need to design so that you move forward faster. Have some fun with these thoughts. Thank you for spending some time with me on Mike Ferry TV.